YouTube, it's Stack 86 here, and this week's up of the week, I'm going to be showing off is Handbrake. So, uh, in my opinion, Handbrake has to be the best software there is out there for converting videos from one format to another, or for ripping DVDs. So, why is it the best? Well, because of how fast and easy it is to use. It makes use of all of your computer's cores and of 64 bit operating system and all the RAM that you might have with that system which leads to super fast conversion speeds even for big files. Also did I mention that the software is open source and is available for free. So other than flattering the software, I'll show you in this video how to convert ordinary files to the mp4 format and to rip DVDs into a single file. So if you want to skip the first part and see right away how to rip DVDs, click on the annotation right about here. So this is how you can convert any video file, such as this MOV file over here, into an MP4 file, which is more likely to be compatible with all of your devices and is a lot smaller than a .MOV file. So first what you have to do is you have to go and open Handbrake. And when you first open Handbrake, it should show a dialog box up like this, which will look slightly different if you're on a Windows computer. And a little tip for you Mac owners is if you want to preview the file, you can you can select it, then press space, and it'll show a little preview up like that. And when you find the right one, just press open. So most of these options here you want to keep the same, but if you want to change the destination, you can go into destination here, press browse, then select the destination you want to save it, which I normally just leave for the desktop. And if you want to change the file name, you can change this bit here after the little slash and before the .mp4 and I'll change the file name that it, the um, conversion goes to. And another thing you might want to look at is picture settings, which allows you to change the aspect ratio of the um, video, which is the width and the height. And it's a good idea to have it on none because that won't restrict you to anything and then to change it you simply press the up and down arrows here and change it to whatever you want and if you want to change them independently you just uncheck this so it's okay as it is for me and there's also these presets at the sides here if this isn't open you can press this to open it and these are some presets that are set before by the people who made Handbrake and you can also add your own by clicking this little plus here and putting all the stuff you want in like giving it a name and the size and like that and you can make it default over here right, if you select one like that and the preview window lets you preview what the outcome will be and the activity window shows the activity that Handbrake's been doing okay, so when everything's good to go you can press start and it should start encoding it and as you see it goes through really fast I mean this is a 10 second video but believe me it's really really fast like all the time and then it shows you this little message when it's finished and then to go and find the file again you just go to the destination and then you find it there and if you look at the file sizes here just to show you .mrv compared to mp4, this is the kind of file size difference for the same file. And as well as converting file types, Handbrake can also rip DVDs. So to begin ripping a DVD, of course insert your DVD, which mine is already here, and open up Handbrake. Oops, not iPhoto Handbrake. And what you want to do is you want to navigate to your DVD and don't click on any of the files here because you want to do for the whole CD and you just simply press open and then Handbrake will start scanning the source and you might hear your DVD spinning a lot and there you go and if there's multiple chapters you want to put this on the furthest chapter so all of them go together and leave everything as it is and if you want to change the file name you can change this um, in after the slash and before the .mp4 and to change the destination you can go here and choose destination 
and make sure your resolution is good. If I change this to none and looking at the different resolutions you can go to, which will probably be okay if you keep it the same. And that should be okay. And then you simply press start like this. And it might take a while because this is a 50 minute CD and just because it's from a CD anyway. So I won't um, wait for it all to finish because it will just take too long. But as you see, this here will end up being a popular, like the whole CD, like this one. And if it's got multiple chapters, they should all go into one file. And it'll be whatever you called it here. If you like this video, please give me a like and subscribe for more videos. And if you have any comments, please leave them below. And thanks for watching.